Hi, I'm Ivan Tresoldi and I'm a Cloud Solution Architect for Prisma Cloud at Palo Alto Networks. In this video, I want to introduce you to the Workload Runtime Protection feature of Prisma Cloud to protect your workloads, such as VMs, containers, serverless function, from uh, malicious and unexpected activity. Let's jump into the Prisma Cloud console and see this in action. We are in the Prisma Cloud console under the radar view where we can see all the workloads protected by Prisma Cloud. In this case, I'm connected to my Kubernetes cluster. Let's look at the namespace where we deployed our pod. And uh, clicking on the pod, we can see the rig summary with all the vulnerabilities, compliance, all the runtime audits, and on the web application and API security events. If we click on the details, we can view all the audit events recorded at runtime related to this uh, specific uh, container image. And we can see events like uh, DNS resolution or uh, curl event, so a curl command launched inside the container. If we look at monitor runtime and the container models, we can see that our container runtime protection is based on uh, container models we create as soon as a new workload is launched, the platform monitored by Prisma Cloud. And the container model is based on uh, machine learning. And what we do is we listen and we look at all the activities made inside the, the container by any process any access to the file system or uh, any network activity, and we learn all the normal behavior. A model can be considered as an allow list of non-good activity for a container. So let's have a look uh, at a real model. We look at processes uh, running as soon as the container image is launched on a platform, both from a static perspective and from a behavioral perspective, so uh, while the container is, uh, is running, we look at all the networking activities, or the listening ports, or the connection from inside or outside the container, all the uh, learned domains based on DNS resolution, and all the file system activities done uh, while the container is uh, running. We also look at uh, kernel capabilities that the uh, container, the workloads might be using. We have an history view and we can see if any service account with servers or cluster role is configured for this specific uh, workload. As soon as we conclude the learning period, the container model becomes active. And after that, you can create role to be alerted based on the normal behavior expected in a container based on the container model you can be alerted uh, on any deviation from the model or from any unexpected activity done inside the container and in addition to the container model you can create customized uh, rules based on uh, your requirements for example, having a default rule to alert on all suspicious behavior detected uh, inside a container and applied to all the containers, all the workloads protected by Prisma Cloud. You can leverage collections to group your objects and limit the scope of your rule. When you create a rule, you can define anti-malware settings, anti-malware protection to protect your image for threats and malware, you can define uh, which processes are explicitly allowed or explicitly denied uh, inside your container. You can also have some uh, options to prevent activity from crypto miners, from reverse shell attacks, from processes uh, used for lateral movement, etc. For any denied and fallback settings, you can be alerted, you can set the prevent the activity or even block the container. You can set all the listening ports uh, or outbound internet ports, outbound IPs explicitly allowed or explicitly denied. 
uh, you can provide protection from port scanning, from network activities, from modify the binaries, for example. You can explicitly allow uh, domains, FQDNs, also using wildcard, or you can deny the resolution of explicit uh, DNS domain. Looking at the file system sensor, you can uh, explicitly allow or deny activities on the file system. You can also create uh, custom rules to define custom controls based on, uh, on your requirements. Every event detected in the platform is collected. We have a container audit section. In this case, you can see some activities such as an Nmap, so port scanning, a DNS resolution tried inside the container, a suspicious binary launch inside the container, and every recorded audit is uh, mapped to a specific uh, tactic or technique included uh, in the Mitre attack framework. So we have an attack explorer dashboard where all the audits are mapped to the Mitre attack framework, such as the initial access, the execution, the persistence, till the exfiltration or impact. We map all events to one of the specific steps to provide you a complete overview of your uh, security posture and potential exposure to threats. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.